Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Dimash performing Olympico at the World Skills Kazan, I believe it's pronounced, in uh, 2019. And I gotta say, I think this particular song I had like three or four different videos for. So in all honesty, I just picked the first one that just kind of came up in my watch queue and all the other ones I made just watch on my own time uh, just to kind of do uh, personal comparisons. But this is the one that uh, came up first uh, with this. And um, I gotta say, he is definitely probably one of the more impressive vocalists I've heard in a while. I've um, reacted to a lot of people who have really impressed me. But I think what I really like about him is um you know i i really love like the opera style you know and it kind of goes back um not necessarily to my chorus days you know but it's just something that i guess i appreciate seeing in a modern time because you know outside of probably like professional um opera singers you know it's not something i've really seen all that much outside of maybe some clips here and there it's nothing i ever really see pop up on my feed or anything um but listening to him and i think what i really like the most about him is just his i mean his vocal range is absolutely impressive and you know it's like whatever range you know he's at whatever tone he's at i mean he has such a profound like mastery of control where you know you can't really say you know this is his main range or this is his main um area because in each song i've heard him do it's not like he's just been in just one it's like he lets his range flow throughout the whole song you know with each song it's not like one song will you know showcase like his higher pitch whereas another song may showcase his lower pitch whereas yeah you may get a little more of one or the other in certain songs but i feel like in a way they're all equally showcased so i'm really looking forward to this one because i know this is a song that uh, a lot of people i've seen really recommend listening to um i don't exactly remember which um particular performance was suggested but i would imagine i can't imagine anyone being more impressive than the other you know with this guy i mean he's just absolutely a, an amazing vocalist and i'm really looking forward to getting to this so um without further ado we'll do just that and i will leave a link to the original video in the description below let's go ahead and get this thing started Hey there, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the content and would like to give some extra support to the channel, feel free to check the description for various ways to do so. Some which will include an affiliate link to Dubby, uh, which you use, you get a 10% off your order. And also a link to my merch store, which is constantly running promotions and deals, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which you can get exclusive perks and content. Naturally, liking the video and leaving a comment helps as well. Thanks again and I will catch y'all down the road. Alrighty, let's see what he's got in store for us here too. I'm already intrigued. I see all these singers on a rotating stage. Yo, he did not waste time with throwing haymakers. He is starting off strong. Holy cow. Wow. Even his enunciations are strong. Ooh. That was nice. I like that. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. All right, y'all. This dude is starting off hard. And I know I was talking about how, you know, he really showcases his range. Um, if I remember my male ranges uh, correctly, because um, usually I tend to get bass and baritone mixed up. I always think like baritone lower, but I actually think uh, baritone is higher than the bass. So I'm really going to go on a limb here and say he is really showcasing some serious baritone skills here. Holy cow. I mean, I think, you know, when I was in choir, I was a tenor. So, you know, I tend to gravitate a lot to people who can do that range, which he falls into that. He easily hits, you know, tenor with ease, you know, and I think that's one of the things that kind of also drew me to him a little bit, you know, is that, but I mean, he is hitting really strong baritone vibes here. And speaking of vibes, the music and everything, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting like some serious like Andrew Lloyd Webber vibes, like like almost something along the veins of Phantom of the Opera. That's like the type of vibes I'm getting here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to search after I get done with this video. But if he has done anything like Phantom of the Opera, like a cover of that, Definitely let me know because if he did do that, I would love to hear his take on that. I would imagine he would kill that. But holy crap, you know, just again, it's like you can't really just bottleneck him in one vocal range. You know, like you got people where they're primarily tenors or you might have some people who are primarily baritones or anything like that. With him, it's like you could probably get like all three of the male ranges tenor baritone and bass i would not be surprised i don't know if i've heard him go as low as a bass yet but I, honestly it would not surprise me if he can i mean and really at this point i just feel like i just kind of have to question you know what is it that he can't do like i'm getting to the point where it's like if i hear him do anything i'm just like yeah well of course he can do that but at this point i think i would be more shocked at anything that he couldn't do at more than what he can do. Oh. There he goes. Like I just said, what can he not do? And look at how seamless he goes. I'm not gonna lie, this had to have been really cool to see as the audience. I love the spinning stage with all the other singers. That is so cool. <laughs> I love this right here. You feel like a buildup coming. I love how everything here is playing a role in it too. That build, there's that build. All 
All right, take us home. Yo, that was a cool visual right there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. All right, that was Dimash with Olympico at World Skills Kazan 2019, and it was every bit as good as I expected it to be. In fact, I'll even go as far as to say it brought a little extra because as I was saying, like a little bit after that halfway point where I was really stressing that build towards the finish, and I was talking about how I loved every bit of that was being used. And when I say every bit, I mean, I'm not even talking just simply about the singers just on the rotating stage, but you go to the musicians, just the look of the stage and all the little pyrotechnics they had going on and everything just getting prepared for that final build where he finally just finally went for that knockout blow and just ended it right there. You know, and that's the other thing, you know, and I, I didn't want to hit too much into it earlier, but I did make sure to make a note of it so I wouldn't forget at this point. But that's the other thing that I didn't think of when I um, started the video. But as I was watching it, another thing that I really did appreciate is his buildups. If you list like I can't think of a song that I've listened to that I'm not going to necessarily say had a slow start, you know, but it definitely had a build towards the end to where the end was going to be the most powerful part of it. And I think what made this one more impressive was this one felt like it started a lot more powerful than what I'm used to with um, the beginnings of the songs he does. He started with a lot more power than what I'm used to, but yet the fact that he was still able to kind of I guess you could say kind of not necessarily reel it in or hold it in, you know, but kind of, I guess you could say hold off, you know, and still get that build towards the end. You know, I feel like that was a lot more impressive with this one only because of just how powerful he started. And I know um, in my earlier pause, I was talking about something where he couldn't do. And I almost instantly thought, I didn't want to bring it up then, but I'll bring it up now. Um, when I did a reaction to him doing the show must go on and I think I commented on there where it sounded like he struggled a little bit, but it had nothing to do with the skill or the sound of his voice. I only take it to the fact of the idea that he was singing it in English and that was um, the first song, you know, I've heard him actually, I think that's the only song of his that I've heard do in English, you know, and obviously if that's not your first language you're not you know that's not exactly english is not an easy language to master you know so it's one of those things where it's just like you know the only way you're going to use that against them is if you're literally just trying to find something to nitpick which unfortunately people nowadays you know it they just seem to really make a career off just nitpicking you know certain things and trying to say this is why this is not good whereas there's no way you can look at that performance and say that wasn't good you know because when you take the fact that english isn't his first language and he still did as well as he did it's like you gotta give a pass to to that you know and that really goes for anybody who's singing a language that is not their first language you know if they struggle a little bit with just the language you know, and that's really the only thing that was wrong with it. It's like, okay, that's not their first language. Big deal. No big deal. You know, like I said, English isn't his first language. So, you know, no big deal that, you know, it seemed like he struggled with the words a little bit. But it did not affect, you know, his sound. It did not affect his tone. It did not affect, you know, how he sang the song. And, you know, I, again, that just really, I think, reaffirms my point. You know, it's like, what can he not do? Because how many people do you know can sing a song that well? with a language that isn't their first language. There aren't that many people. You could probably easily count them on one hand, you know, maybe not even a full hand, really, if you're being full on honest with yourself, but, you know, and that's just, again, what makes him, you know, such a great vocalist. 
you know, and I've had so many people comment to me on all the training he's gotten and everything like that. And in all honesty, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's nice, you know, to really see just really how much training he got. But anybody who's been in any type of music, you know, especially when it comes to like a choir or anything like that, and you really have to go through some of that classical training, you know, you only need to listen and you can tell, you know, that this man has studied not just hard but for a very long time because there are certain things that the casual listener will not catch whereas somebody like me like i think about his performance and uh doing um a cover of opera 2 you know and there was a part where he it was just like instead of just doing a single note it was like he was, it was like a pause note pause note pause note and something as small as that that seems so simple but if you're trying to do that as a casual singer without really any real training that's not as easy as you would think and the fact that he makes such difficult techniques seem very easy i mean even to the point of just how he would go from like literally run range to another in a span of seconds but yet you really i'm trying to think of the right way to describe it but it was just the transition was so seamless and it's just something as small as that because sometimes even if you're singing a pop song and you have to kind of do a quick you know change of range you know it's like it's crazy how it's like if you like really listen to yourself you can kind of hear a difference in how you sound whereas with him i don't hear that and you know that again goes to a lot of vocal training and like i said it's just something like that just by itself tells me that this man has studied for a very long time and he has studied very hard you know and probably still studies this is not something that you just simply just stop doing you know like vocal cords and anything work just like any other muscle on the body you know you, you got to keep working them out to keep them in shape if you stop working them out you know eventually you know that's I'm not going to say it's going to go away, but it's going to get weaker. You know, it's that's why it's like you'll see people who are in shape, but they still go to the gym because they have to keep that up. And that goes the same with vocalists is, you know, they still have to go through, you know, some training. They may not have to go through as much as others, but you still got to go through something to make sure that those vocal cords, your diaphragm muscles and everything, you know, stay where they're at. But I don't just simply get that from him. I feel like he's the type where no matter what, he's going to strive to try to get better. And as weird as it sounds to say that, because he's already so great, it's like, how does one get better? But in all honesty, if you really think about it, everybody can always get better. And I always appreciate seeing people like him where you see them striving to get better. Because when I really look at it and I look at the timeline even though i don't think i've really gone in chronological order with the songs i've reacted to but if i look at the dates of each of the videos it's like i can kind of tell where that he is definitely improved which really says a lot considering that probably the earliest video i saw of him you know he was already great so to say that he improved from that that's just you know you know and i'm sure some people might take that as me like insulting him or anything but you know obviously that's not the case you know I, I don't care how good you are at something you can always get better and that's not a knock on you for where you were at one point point. and really in all honesty if you're not striving to get better then really what's the point it's like do you really have a passion for it that that's just the way i see it that's just the way i see it but all i can say is that this was a fantastic song this is probably my favorite song that i've heard him do so far this might be a hard one to top though i've heard i've seen a lot of good suggestions for other songs of his and you know that could easily change with my next reaction we shall see but either which way um i'm just gonna end it by saying this was absolutely a joy to watch and uh thank you all for suggesting that one and in the meantime um feel free to check out my other reactions to dimash thank you all for stopping by i hope you all enjoyed the reaction and i will catch y'all down the road